WEC's founders were lawyers, young environmental activists, policy wonks. But really, it was two important women, my mentor Joan Thomas and the legendary Hazel Wolf, who I think maybe just told them how to get it done. Indeed, through WEC's history, there have been women and men at the helm steering us towards collaboration, innovation, and powerful partnerships. These values make us who we are today. An early WEC goal was to ensure that government had to consider the environment of the environmental impacts of proposed projects and that the public would have a voice in the process. We successfully advocated for the State Environmental Policy Act, and today this law is helping us fight coal and oil terminals proposed all over our state. <coughs> Excuse me. Together with tribal nations and organizations like Climate Solutions, Sierra Club, the Lands Council, and many other organizations, we built a powerful coalition to prevent our region from becoming a fossil fuel highway. From Spokane and Grays Harbor to Vancouver and Longview, we've engaged hundreds of thousands of people to speak out across against these projects. In record numbers, people are saying no, and not w one new coal or oil export facility has been built in our state. <laughs> We cannot have a clean energy future if we are building infrastructure that locks us into fossil fuels. It's that simple. And frankly, that's not who we are. We are a state that has always led airplanes, computer software. We innovate. We try the new thing. WEC knows that a healthy environment and a healthy economy go hand in hand. From ensuring that we plan for smart growth to curbing stormwater pollution with green infrastructure to valuing our trees, not just for the wood that they produce, but also for the clean water and the carbon storage benefits that they provide. WEC has a history of finding innovative solutions to tough problems. And tough problems require strong leaders. We know that to secure good laws, we need to have good lawmakers. So feeling stymied by the legislature, in 1981, the WEC board formed WEMPAC, the precursor to Washington conservation voters. Today, our partnership with WCV is stronger than ever. By linking WEC's policy chops with WCV's electoral smarts, we leverage each other's strengths, and we get stuff done. And you know who else gets things done? Washington Attorney General Bob Ferguson.